let's factor this and this is one of those things that it's a pattern and you should be able to recognize right away wait a minute 8 is 2 cubed and 27 is 3 cubed oh and look that's x cubed and oh look that's y squared cubed so let's rewrite this as 2x quantity cubed minus 3y squared quantity cubed and then there's this little uh, trick that you or a pattern that you recognize and it goes like this it's going to be same opposite always positive it's called soap same opposite always positive just remember soap the signs so the same sign negative was there the opposite sign which is a positive and then the last is always positive okay. and now I'm going to take these numbers 2x 3y squared and write them in there but then I'm going to double I'm going to square it here so it's 4x squared and this one is double not double it's squared 9 y to the fourth because I'm squaring it and then the middle here is um, that times that times 2 so 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12 uh, actually maybe you don't multiply it by 2 maybe you just multiply them together well let's find out sometimes I forget 6 x y squared let's just see if it works now I can't remember if you double that one or not, to be honest with you, but there's a pattern there, and you'll see it when you check it. So let's just check it now. So there's my answer, and let's foil it out. There's my first. It's not. It's more than foiling, right, because there's going to be six total terms, because it's going to be that, 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 that. So we have 2 times 4, 2x times 4x squared is 8x cubed. That's how I got that one then I'm going to keep going on that line. That times that is 12x squared, y squared. That times that is 18xy squared. Nope, y to the fourth, right? That times that is minus 12x squared, y squared. Look at that, those go away. That times that is minus 18. 18 X. X, Y to the fourth. fourth. Boom, boom. And that times that is the last thing, which is negative 27. Y to the sixth. So you don't double it. You just multiply them together. Okay. The doubling it one, I confuse that because that's that pattern for when you have that perfect square trinomial. Okay. Or binomial. That's how you do it. Okay.